Next question is from Rui Marquez Insta. Is HMB worth it? HMB. You guys remember that supplement got uh, all crazy and it was like all over the ads and stuff? Yeah, this was actually not one that I really got into. Really? So, okay, so hydroxymethylbutyrate, uh, you could call it, right? That's the that's what HMB stands for. It's a metabolite, an active metabolite of leucine, the amino acid that is really closely tied to the anabolic effects of protein. So the more leucine protein has, the more anabolic it has. Now I will say this, if your protein intake is high, does it matter uh, as much? It's if your protein intake is below that, you know, what studies will show to be the upper limit of where you'll get benefit from high protein. Now I remember when HMB was first came out, it was EAS that was really pushing it. EAS at the time also sold creatine. Now creatine is just, it's the best natural supplement just hands down that you can find. It's it's good for you. It works. It builds muscle, improves recovery. It's got heart health benefits and cognitive benefits. And it's just a great supplement all the way around. And EAS tried to kind of follow on the heels of creatine with HMB. And I remember reading an article, and this will haunt, I think it'll haunt Bill Phillips uh, till, till forever. Literally, the article said, creatine is like D-ball and HMB is like DECA. Like he was trying to say, you get explosive gains with, with creatine and you'll get slow and consistent gains with HMB. I, and, and by the way, studies show HMB to be great for presenting, for, excuse me, preventing muscle breakdown in certain populations. It helps with muscle building and strength. So there are studies to show and support it. In fact, you know those insure like drinks that they give yeah, to yeah. old people or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They now will have HMB in them to help with old people to prevent muscle loss. Now, I've tried HMB at least 100 times because of the studies. And I've taken monster doses of it to make it work or whatever. It does. Here's why it doesn't do shit. Because my protein intake's high. It, it didn't do anything for me when I would supplement it because it didn't do much. The value with HMB might be the similar value you'd find with branched amino acids, which is... If your protein is low, then you may get some benefit from taking HMB. Let's say you're vegan and you're not hitting your, you know, 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight because it's harder to do with, with you know, plant sources. HMB might be beneficial to you. Other than that, it's just, it's it's one of those supplements that didn't even come close to to meeting the hype. Have either of you heard uh, Lane speak on this before? He, I'm, he's someone who I'd love to hear talk about he, HMB. He says leucine, mm -hmm. just do leucine because leucine has been shown to do the same thing, yeah, I, which is I true. I know that's, that his thesis was on that, so I imagine that he would have a really intelligent answer to If you the, compare leucine to HMB in similar studies, you find that it doesn't make a difference, except for HMB is way more expensive. HMB is <laughs> a much more expensive a supplement. I can see benefit in some populations. Like I said, low protein. Yeah, but the, even then, why that? Why not just take leucine then? Uh, you, exactly. Why not just give them leucine? So, or, it's, so it's really worthless because even it, even where it has some value, there's a product that's cheaper and would do as good of a job, if not better. Yeah. The, so the, I, that, to me, that's enough to just The one cancel. time I saw some benefit, I was taking, I don't remember the dose. It was like three grams, three times a day, which is way higher than you're supposed to. So I'm not advocating for this. I do like to experiment on myself uh, with supplements. And it was during a period where I was cutting really aggressively and my protein intake even wasn't high enough because my calories were so low. And then I felt like I got a little bit of a, of a benefit, but it never, it never added up to the cost of buying all this freaking HMB that I took. Mm. So it's, it's one of those supplements that I just say, you know, you probably, look, here's the deal. If your protein intake's low and you want to take amino acids to help preserve your muscle, buy branched chain amino acids. Way cheaper. They're high in leucine, right? One of the branched chain amino acids is leucine. Typically, a good branched chain amino acid supplement will have like a 2 1 1 ratio. So, you know, the highest uh, amino acid is leucine, then isoleucine and valine. So, 2 1 1. Uh, and that'll do what the HMB is going to do, and it's much cheaper. Or your better option is increase your protein intake. Take a protein powder, which gives you all the amino acids. And has all the benefits of uh, of preserving muscle, but yeah, this is one of those supplements that it was the marketing was so heavy behind it in the '90s and the early 2000s. Like they spent so much money marketing it, hmm. and it absolutely never lived up. Like uh, I've heard of, of it, but also I I got it confused. What's the other one called? That's like a muscle relaxer. It's like a drug. Uh, H it, something like that. It has it sounds like HMB, but. Uh, you guys, like come on, you guys, like you're the drug guys. Yeah, yeah, and, it, and, and it's, <laughs> it's supposed to be like a muscle relaxer. Yeah. 
I don't know. I have uh, no idea. Well, is it a prescription drug or is it like an no, actual No, no, it's illegal, I think. Yeah. It's legal? Illegal. Oh, illegal. Oh, it's illegal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Mm. Everybody's looking at Adam. Adam, what are the illegal drugs for license? <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. I'll never know. Yeah. Uh, was it I mean, how one? do you measure it in grams and ounces Hold or on a pounds? <laughs> wasn't yeah. there a okay? I can't, now, I, now I can't remember it. Wasn't there a drug that used to be sold? Yeah, I know this for a fact. I just don't remember the name. It used to be sold. It's gonna bother in me. supplement stores because it raised growth hormone, and then uh -huh. people would take it before going to bed. Yeah, and it would help them sleep. Methoxy, yes, methoxybolic. No, 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 no. It's not, bro. If it, people it used to take it to like party. That. Yes. Oh, to party. Yes. Oh, you're talking about. Um, <laughs> Uh, here we go. I got so I have some of that somewhere. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah. You don't. I have some, yeah. bro, Allegedly, I, you're bro. Talking, uh, you're, GH. H, uh, no, not GH. That's growth hormone. That's the sh no, no, no. It's called. It's called. Uh, it's called. It's the acronym is still oh, GMB GH. or G GHB. 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 Thank you. That's what it is. GHB. There it is. Yeah, there there it is. That's what I'm talking about. My crazy yeah, brain. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. So yeah. Look at actually. The same. Give me the, the chemical HMB, of it. I, I remember. Uh, God, I remember my first dude. experience trying that stuff, dude. So it was like, that's, <laughs> that's stuff's gnarly. It's, so it is. A, it's like a, not it, at all like HMB. Yeah, no, totally not different. at all. Yeah, 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 yeah it's just, totally different. No, G. Okay, so GH. So that's supposed to help you get into your your REM sleep. Yeah, your REM sleep faster. Like you instantly go into. My new bodybuilders were. And I remember my first experience. I'll never forget the first. time. Please don't take. Don't do it. Yeah, we're not wrecked. Right. Just because I'm telling no. somebody a drug story. Gamma hydroxybutyrate. Not, there you go. Yeah, GHB, right? Mm -hmm. So, what, I mean, what? okay, that's the, what What exactly is it uh, derived from and like what is it used for? Is it used for anything right now? <clears throat> like, like the, I know what it is on the black market used for, but what is it used oh, for? yeah. I heard so, it was like used for like cleaning computers and shit. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, a central nervous system depressant that is com commonly referred to as a club drug or date rape yeah. yep. drug. Oh. Yeah. But bodybuilders would use it to get into Yikes. their their REM sleep as fast as you could. And I remember the first time that I I tried this, I was at my house. I remember I was scared to death to try it, and I had a buddy that was peer pressuring me to do it, and I'm easily peer pressured to try drugs. And so I go, okay, I'll try this out because it's just me and you, and it's safe, right? So I take it. Oh no, it was a date yeah. rape drug, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he pressured yeah. you. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I'm sure we used to be. Friend. We used to be friends. No, <laughs> so. He, he, Where's what, my pants? What happened was uh, I passed out on the couch afterwards. I just fell asleep. And he came back. He went to the bathroom or something. We were watching TV. It was late at night. And he went to the bathroom. He comes back. And him coming back into the living room startled me enough to wake up. And I woke up. And I thought I slept through the whole night. Like I thought I was a, I went, oh my God. And I just felt so rested. And it felt, it literally felt like a full night's sleep. And I thought it was like early in the morning, like five or six in the morning. And it had only been like 20 minutes. And he's like, I was like, how long have you been gone for? He's like, I just went to the bathroom. I came back. And I'm like, what? Yeah. That's yeah. what it felt like. It was Bro, they used to ever. sell this Ooh, at supplement stores in the 90s, I believe the early 90s, and it would, because it raised growth hormone and they sold it as something to help you sleep. By the way, this will kill you. Yes. You take very, too much. Very, very uh, dangerous. You take dangerous. too much, you go to sleep, you don't wake yeah, up. Yeah. And it was, I mean, I was, the, I experimented with like a, a little tiny cap full. It yeah. was so small. Yeah. And then people are like, oh, this is fun to take at the club because you feel like you're drunk. That's what I heard. It, it's kind of fun. You know, al it's no alcohol. And <laughs> My then, friend told me. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, no, I've never used it before. But anyway, it's that's crazy to sell it as a supplement, and now it's one of these, you know, whatever. But it's not HMB, not even close. <laughs> yeah, Justin, don't try. Little, little 